Welcome to the shooting show. This week we're out over three nights to bring you a duck flight in medley. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. on a night like tonight it's difficult to know just how long the sun actually has been down and what makes them go up to feed? Mm. Why do teal come 10 minutes after my lad? Mm. Are we are we a crow? We're a crow aren't we? Carrion. We're a crow. Yeah, we're a crow. yeah and the river runs, used a big loop, it runs round and then back down here and then back out round Mark's gone over, they've just dug another little pond over in that wood. It's just a sort of big foot on there. Quick. Mm. They were pitching in committed though, weren't they? Yeah. Hey up, hey up. There's two more. There's two more. Where are they going? They'll come round. Shot Meg. Did you get it? Tonight was a recce to see if filming this location would be possible and to see how the ducks would respond to IR light. Just couldn't quite get out. Um, stroke past you, aren't they, now? Shot, Nick. Ha 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 ha! That was a long way off. With challenging ducks falling to both Ian and Nick before the light eventually fades to darkness. Got one. Got one of them, Nick. Yeah, I lost them as well. Time is about to be called before the dogs finish their retrieving. Didn't see him go out neither. I might soon go down to Wolf's Ledge. So. Yeah, no, it went wide of me. There's another one just now, just going wide of me as well. Did you? I got one that you clipped. You just dropped out here on this grass? No, I haven't picked that one yet. Oh, did, did, did one drop? I thought one dropped somewhere out here, out of that last bit. Yes, uh, did you know about that? No. Well, that's the one this that This is I one of yours. Yeah. That's, yeah. There's one. That's, yeah, that's, I'm sorry. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. That's it, keep going. Good, good. That's it. A successful night ends as we continue on to the next night, hoping to see some more teal. Oh, 
Starting off it. Do we get two? Oh, they really did come after us. Two more there. Hit. That's perfect camera shot for you, isn't it? Yeah, landed on the island that one. Here's come some. I don't. <laughs> yeah, Looks like some bloody seeing it coming in. There's bloody swarms on it. Here's next clock coming. Whoa, God. Whoa, God, I can't get too much for them. Did we get two, two in one shot there, didn't we? Good boy. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. That'll drop. But I don't know just where. Come on. I've shot lots of ducks in my lifetime, but I've never seen teal come as quickly and as hard as as these are doing um, and it's uh, they're coming very low so the vision isn't great but it's just incredible and to fly it this early before this it really is dark is uh, it's quite something special <laughs> and i think most of them are going to live for another day we've got a few though we've had one or two i'm not going to say we've shot the ones that we we're aiming at Eventually. Geese. Hmm? Geese there. What? I can hear geese behind me. Hey, for a boat! <laughs> Another dog. I'm filming him. With the light fading fast, we attempt to capture the birds in flight using IR. The guns will not see what the camera sees. The ducks may not like it though. Do you want my torch off for it? No, no, it's fine. Lovely, yeah? Aren't they absolute beauty? The, the cockwidgeon and the cocktail. Absolute. Storming night. Very night. special. In and on us, and that was it. Yeah. You've had a good do there. Yeah, we have had a good do. Brilliant. Another cock word. They are now in full plumage, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, good job. Good luck, Rick. Some beans, have we not? Yeah, personally, now if you had half a ton of dressed beans, I'll, I'll get you a bag of two. We'll try well, I've got a few to be fair. Though. Have you? Yeah, well, Right, I'll get you to join your pet. I'm not with any great panic for now. Uh, 
um, nickel stand there, where those bags are. He's only with a 28 ball, so if he's a bit hard on them, you won't destroy them. Danny, you come here. Get, yeah, get tucked right there. Just there, so you got a bit of cover. So you got, yeah, you got a bit of sky. Try not to shoot them going that way if you can, um, because we've got a river and a load of ground. But if you do, you do. Yeah. Um, so this is what we're feeding our ducks on. Um, didn't really know this till last year, but they quite like beans. Mm -hmm. So we're, uh, we feed waste beans that have gone through a dresser. And, didn't, and then the good old favourite, just whole barley. Why it's barley with ducks? Pretty much more than wheat, but they just seem to love barley. Any sort of screenings, hinder ends. Um, but they certainly love barley. Not saying they won't eat wheat, but we found a mix of beans and barley is uh, what seems to bring them in. And how often do you feed? Just Wet, Keep it full. Yeah. It's like anything, they are coming to feed, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they aren't living here, they, they're flighting on a night. They are coming to feed, so if there's no feed for them, you're going to lose, you know, you're going to lose your ducks. As we've always said, they belong to nobody, and when they're in your pond, they're your ducks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we feed from beginning of September through till sort of end of March, even when the season's over. Um, it's amazing if you look down the edge of the pond, there's deer footprints, there's water end footprints, there's pheasant footprints. So it's like all feeding, other birds, other wildlife are benefiting, there's no doubt. Yeah. Um, it's just a way of bringing the ducks in, yeah. And this year being very dry, very easy to do. Last year when everything was in flood, yeah. there wasn't hope of feeding your own ducks in. You were, uh, everybody had duck, uh, everybody had water last year, so it was hard work. But this year, water levels are low. Yeah. It's happy days. And when you've shot the duck, the Sorry? finished sort of article, when you've stored the ducks up, well, what, when, what do you do with them? Really? When we get them home, um, I've always said wild duck is far too good to give to the general public. Uh -huh. But if you get enough, we do put it on the menu at the pub. But generally speaking, it is for personal consumption, and there is nothing finer than wild duck for supper. Yeah, yeah. bottle of red wine and wild duck, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Right, we'll crack on. Will dogs sit there all night? Only if I want them to. Yeah. yeah. What's the normal deal with them? You normally Probably tuck them under your peg, in. or yeah. Fergus, 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 Fergus. Oh. Rogan. <laughs> you have a little Browning 525 28 bore multi choke. Hmm. Lovely little gun for the job from these little ponds. Gentle on the teal, yeah? Yeah, just the job, yeah. yeah. Nice, easy to swing, ideal little gun. My gun of choice for 90% of what I shoot. Um, I still shoot with a good old English game gun, so instead of using steel, I'm on bismuth tonight. Being advised not to put steel to a, an old Acrels, an old Beverly game gun, so we're on the Ely bismuth cartridges, which hopefully will stop the ducks. Um, they have been doing this last couple of nights, although camera might lie. Um, so here we are, this is our third night's duck shooting. We had a night on... Uh, Saturday night at a pond over near Wandsford, a very strange pond that we haven't quite worked out what is going on. Every time we go to feed it's full of ducks, every time we go to shoot it we aren't, uh, maybe aren't finding them, so we had a plan on Saturday that we would shoot the flight and then we would stop, have a drink and try and shoot them on the full moon. Well it was the most horrendous night and so we shot the flight, had some fun and then we retired to a little hut, a little fisherman's hut and drank mulled wine and raspberry whiskey for the next hour and then called it a night. Last night we went to an estate pond over at Burton Agnes, a pond I've shot a lot of times before, you never know what's going to happen. For some reason last night, out the blue, smacks and smacks of teal kept coming at us. Don't think they're actually coming into the pond, we'd hit a flight line with a back wind and the fading sun, we'd had more fun shooting teal than I've had for a long while. Mixed bag, but there was enough for supper. Here we are tonight on my little pond, um, it was dug out 30 years ago. Spring fed, so if the water levels are low, we do lose the water here, but hopefully another good teal pond. A couple of new guests who don't do a lot of duck shooting, so hopefully let's see what happens tonight.
one there. Yeah. Two down. Got one, we? Two. 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 Let them have fun and finish them off with a little 28 ball. Come on, that's it. That's actually a bloody thing. Are we done? Come on. Good luck. Bring him on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's not sure it lies, is he? Rogan. Well, right, we'll take these. Nick's going to get his gun. Get on, get on, get on. Sorted. Well, heal up, Fergus. It's a comment that uh, yeah, you picked another one. Another two. two. Dog picked another two. All right, we've got to eleven. Yeah. There we go guys, that's the uh, end of the third night, very challenging tonight, coming in very quickly, but we've uh, we've tried our best, had a lot of fun, and hopefully these will go look good on the table for Sunday night tea. Wonderful. Yeah, end of a good night's flight, thoroughly enjoyed it, thank you very much Ian. No problem. Yeah, no we're problem. going down to the uh, pub now for a cheeky one. Yeah. Young, from... young Dodd did well as well, didn't he? Young yeah. Dodd, yeah. Second time out with a young dog, so yeah. 15 months old, so uh, yeah, all a good learning curve for him. Brilliant. All good fun. Right boys, let's go and have a beer. Ian and Nick doing the business there on the Ducks. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News.
Basque, the Countryside Alliance and the NGO have joined forces to mount a legal challenge against the decision to ban shooting on Welsh public land. They're seeking permission from the High Court to bring a judicial review against the decision. Meanwhile, individual shooters can still have their say by visiting Basque's dedicated website about the ban. Just visit the website on screen to make your views known. The grouse season is officially over and the verdict is that a poor season had a serious knock-on effect on rural communities. Many shoots reduced or even entirely cancelled their days this year after poor conditions took their toll on grouse numbers. A Basque spokesman said the impact of cancelled shoots stretches much further to local shops and restaurants, pubs and many small businesses who rely on grouse shooting to survive. The Big Farmland Bird Count is back for another year. Organised by the GWCT, this survey will determine which of the UK's birds are thriving and which need help. And as always, gamekeepers and land managers are encouraged to get involved. Last year, a 1,000 people took part, but the GWCT said they were looking for even more this year. For details on how to take part, visit the newly launched Big Farmland Bird Count website. And finally, with voting still taking place in the Great British Shooting Awards, we take a look at one of the categories you can have your say in. This week, it's the Shooting Apparel Award. And the nominees are Ariat Catalyst Defiant, Harkila Pro Hunter X, Ridgeline Seasons Jacket, Shuffle Ptarmigan Coat, Swazi Rifleman Gen 2. Which do you think should win the award? Have your say by heading to greatbritishshootingawards.com. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>